Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now on the channel I've mentioned several times that one of my habitual techniques for getting through life and being prepared for the things which come up in my future is to write in a journal. I like to keep track of the things that I'm doing to prepare it and plan for things that are coming up. So as an example, all of my videos on YouTube, I tend to have notes for. I don't have scripts. This is all unscripted off the cuff, but I do keep notes, the principal things that I'd like to talk about. And I find that writing down things using a pen on paper sort of enacts a level of creativity and sensory perception that I simply don't get when I'm sitting in front of a computer tapping things in. There's something very special about that physical connection of writing with a pen on paper. It's something from brain to hand which really works well for me personally and I know many other people feel the same because this journaling uh, journey that many people are going on is I think more um, popular today than ever before. Now, one of the things I like most about using a journal in this way to capture my thoughts, my ideas, even my emotions on paper is to use a fountain pen. There's something about the connection you get when you're using that smooth flowing sweep of a fountain pen nib on good quality paper that really just accentuates the, uh, the creativity that flows from me onto paper. So different to tapping into a laptop or, or a desktop computer. Now, when it comes to using a fountain pen, anywhere other than in your study at home, that's where you encounter a little bit of difficulty. You know, if you are out and about, maybe for instance you're on a train travelling somewhere, um, or maybe you're even in the queue uh, at the dentist waiting to be seen and you've got 20 minutes to kill, and maybe you've had a, a sudden attack of mental um, fertility and you just want to capture those ideas, it's difficult to do so with the perfect set of circumstances unless you've planned ahead. So you might have a scrap of paper in your pocket, but for me, I like to carry journals that are easily carryable. So I normally use B5 journals. Um, this is a Leuchtturm I've got here, and this is a Moleskin. I do favor the Leuchtturm, and I will definitely do a review on my, the reasons for that shortly. But, you know, nice quality paper calls for a nice pen to go with it. And unless you, uh, you're wearing, say, a jacket with an inside pocket, or carrying a bag, which you don't always do, it's then slightly awkward to carry a full-size fountain pen. The alternative is to carry a pocket pen. And this pocket pen I have here is from a brand called Caveco. Now I've been carrying Caveco pocket pens for probably about three years. And I have found them to be a superb addition to my daily carry which allows me to be productive on the go when I want to write something in a journal and nothing less than a quality fountain pen will do. Now when it comes to pocket pens or folding pens I think Caveco is the king of the hill of all of the brands out there. It's the most famous uh, and it's the one which is most prolific. I think most people will likely have heard of Caveco uh, who are into everyday carry because it has a solution for you. Now like everybody certainly myself, I'm an interested consumer. I like to know more about the brand before I make a purchase, particularly if it's moderately expensive. I'm pleased to say Caveco has all different price points, um, so we're all covered here. But Caveco is a company which has been around since 1889. German company, originally founded in Heidelberg, but its journey hasn't been straightforward. It has uh, at times changed hands, it's had corporate takeovers, it's had long periods of inactivity. However, it was taken over by its present management company, whatever they call themselves, in 1994. So there has been consistency for a number of decades now and their products have been increasingly becoming popular and becoming beloved by people who use them. Now the pen range which I'm talking about today, their folding pen, if you want to call it that, is the Caveco Sport range. Caveco Sport has been part of the Caveco Pen Company, which make many other products by the way, but I think it would be fair to say the Caveco Sport is their most popular and widely used pen. Uh, the Caveco Sport 
is a, a nice simple pen available in a number of different materials and finishes. This one, my first ever Caveco Sport, is a little red plastic number. And just so you understand how the Caveco Sport works, as you can see it's in one piece here, it unscrews. When it's in the fully closed position, uh, it's only something a touch over 10 centimeters in length. Then when you open it up, the two halves post together, simple as that. It becomes about 13 and a half centimeters in length. And then you have an ideal and comfortable size fountain pen for using straight away. Now I believe their motto is um, small in the pocket, big in the hand. And I would echo that entirely. Um, this little plastic Caveco Sport I've been using for about three years. It's got a medium nib on it. It is ideal for your daily activities and a perfect little writer. And you know, being made of plastic, it only costs 20 pounds. So you don't really worry too much about it. Now, as I say, the Caveco Sport range comes in a number of different materials. They're also available in brass, which is, I think, between 60 and 70 pounds, um, steel, a number of different finishes as well, different colors, all always bringing out new collector editions. The one which I've been using of late, my latest beautiful pen, is this beautiful blue Caveco Sport, which is in aluminium. So still quite light, but you get the robust solidness of having that metal pen in your pocket. Works in exactly the same way as my little plastic one. It unscrews, it posts, and we're ready to get to work writing straight away. Now the nib comes in five different sizes, from extra fine to extra broad or bold. Um, this one is a medium. I really enjoy that for daily writing. And my latest pen, this aluminium pen, uh, is in a broad or bold. Um, I really like the nice, easy, flowing way that this pen delivers ink onto the paper. Now, as, as far as the pen, how it operates, um, it simply unscrews like any other fountain pen, and it takes a cartridge. This one has actually got a proprietary cartridge from Caveco in it, but it is also available with a little uh, ink converter, so you can draw up your own ink in it and use it in that way. Me personally, um, I find the converter only carries a very small amount of ink in comparison to the cartridge. So I take the cartridges and once they're expended of all of the Caveco ink, I will refill them with the inks of my choice using a little syringe. And I find that a much more efficient way of using the cartridges with much more ink reservoir at your use. Um, the nibs themselves, they come in gold plate as this particular one is, also stainless steel. So you get uh, what I can only describe as one of the best writing experiences of any fountain pen that I have. I often find myself opting for this pen, even when I'm at home, in my study, when I've got the range of all my other pens to hand, because it writes so lovely, it's so comfortable in the hand, there's no issues with it at all. Now, looking at this particular pen, as you can see, it's in this really striking uh, blue color. And this pen is referred to as the Iguana Blue. Uh, as I say, made in stainless steel. The end has got this beautiful gold uh, finish to it, this little Caveco cap, which is the company uh, Lotto logo. And the nib is also a matching gold as well. They also have models where the end cap will be in a chromium or silver finish, which would match the nib. Now this beautiful blue uh, is referred to as, as I say, iguana blue, because the colour is inspired by an endangered iguana, uh, which is found in the Cayman Islands, uh, and it has an iridescent blue colour to its skin. Hence, this pen gets its remarkably beautiful greeny blue colour from that endangered uh, lizard. So I find that quite funny when I use it actually, but it is beautiful and very eye-catching. Now this pen comes in at a bit more expensive because it's in the you know, recently released range and it's also got this beautiful colour and it's made of aluminium. This pen at the moment costs 85 British pounds. So towards the higher end of what I would normally ever consider paying for a fountain pen. And by the way, these, this video, not sponsored by Caveco, nothing like that, purchased with my own money and used every day. I am merely showcasing to you an object which I use every day day in, day out, and I have found have worked exceptionally well for me in case you find yourself in a similar position and my experiences can shortcut your journey to the solution to the situation in your life. So this particular Caveco Sport, 
all of the range also come with a uh, an optional clip which you can buy which will fit over the body of the pen and allow it to be carried in a pocket it costs about five pounds uh, comes in all different colors so whatever color range you have so you've got i think there's chromium there's black there's gold it'll fit in with the other fixtures of your pen me personally I use this as a pocket pen. I like the fact that it's screwed solidly shut. I can slip it into my trouser pocket when I'm out and about. There's no risk of dislodging the cartridge and it, uh, it leaking into my pocket because it's a sealed unit. And you know, it doesn't affect the drape of my trousers over my pocket. It's not large and bulky. Uh, and again, as ever, the important thing with a fountain pen is where the pen meets the paper and it's the flow. And I find the beautiful flow of the ink out of this pen onto the quality paper, particularly in the Leuchtturm, uh, the Leuchtturm Journal, which is an 80 GSM paper, it's as if they were made for each other. They absolutely work so well. And when you're looking for a place to put your information, when you want your creativity to flow from your brain to your hand, into the paper and be captured there for when you need that information this for me is my go-to pen be it in plastic be it in metal or any of the other finishes uh, and it works just right for me now if you aren't a fan of the fountain pen remarkably they also make a little caveco sport biro I've had this one for a couple of years and it's for occasions when I'm not really going to be using a fountain pen if I'm just literally going to be out and about and I want to scribble some information. All of the things I've just said about these pens really applies to this too. Works perfectly every time. Uh, different colours, different materials. I just really like what Caveco were doing with their products. They're providing solutions to everyday chap problems for us and I think you'll agree at 20 pounds at their entry point and rising up to wherever you want to go with your you know your cost your expenditure on pens they've got a model there for you so there we go i use them every day they work exceptionally well for me also great to give us gifts because they come particularly the higher range models come in these beautiful little metal tins with you know impressed uh, images on the front of the fountain pen and the brand which if you're giving it as a gift to the chap in your life or a friend or father or brother what a great thing to hand over you really feel like you've been handed something of quality which is going to last so good option there for christmas so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red button if you'd like to see more that, like this in the future. And you can even practically support the channel so I can continue to make future material like this by simply buying me a coffee. And how to do that, you'll find the link in the show notes below. And I'd be greatly uh, appreciative of your support. So until the next time, capture your thoughts on paper in the traditional way your creativity will flow and make you a more productive individual. So until the next time, take care of yourselves and I will see you again very soon.